For any parent that's watching right now and feels like Harry Panera has, has messed up your child's head, I just want to say to you, you're a fool. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop. Yes, we are back with the fourth series of Think Twice. This is the show where we talk about the hottest topics happening in the world right now. And in this special episode, we're going to be speaking about life. But before we get into that, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And make sure. Thank you. Thank you. First up, we have agree or disagree. Now, we'll be giving a statement, and we have five seconds to either agree or disagree with it. We'll then discuss the topic and see if we want to change our answer. So let's get straight into this, guys. Let's go! Let's get in there. I'm ready. <laughs> Each new generation is lazier than the last. Agree or disagree? Strongly disagree. My reasons for that is, yeah, each generation has bought something that the other generation wasn't able to bring. Crazy. Do you get me? So we look at, like, yeah. Yeah, and we look at like things that our parents' generation created for us was the reason why we had such a great childhood. We look at the games, we look at all the stuff that... Now it's the elevation. I think what happens is we just elevate. Things just get better. So your generation is the 90s, you'll set the foundation and I'll build off the foundation that you've created. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's happening as time goes on. I feel like our parents... <laughs> My cow. You remember? Michael. I do think, though, that the essence of hard work and creating things and being like... You know, like some of the things, like the person who made a toilet or the person who made it. Mm. We don't have that stuff like that anymore. People are more creating digital things, like yeah. things that eradicate people working. I think the laziness aspect, maybe I can understand where that comes from because we're not as on hands-on as much as before. <laughs> Whatever. Around us, we only know people that our work rates are, are on top, like mm -hmm. a work ethic just go on. Yeah. But then there's people that we don't know that are lazy as hell, so it's all about what's around you at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, for me, I don't feel like that because I'm around people that are yeah. jogging, finessing 24-7 yeah. and working. Yeah. But then someone else now down the street might, might be chilling with five bums that are just mm -hmm. lazy. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's about your surroundings at the end. But I, I, I feel like that ideology comes from, like, our parents' generations. Mm. Like, for example, my parents always used to tell me, like, for me to go to school, I, used to I had to travel the yeah, leg. Yeah. I had to go up here and it's like, I used okay, to get shot so, by so, 10 bullets if I go to school. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. mad at me because because the bus is free. Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah. on. like They used to say stuff like, oh, for me to get this, I had to do A, B, and C. Mm. Just for me to pick up the phone, I had to walk to the local. And it's like, okay, I would have done the same thing then. Don't be mm. mad at me because I got <laughs> yeah. it easy. Like, you lot made it easy for us because we're your kids. You love us. Like, do you know what I mean? So mm. stop complaining. The older generation, stop complaining about how apparently we have life easy. Oh, yeah. Back in my when, day, back in your day, because we're not back in your not, day anymore, and it's fine. Yeah. It's called yeah. evolution. Back in your day, it was yes, there wasn't <laughs> no that's why, electricity. Because, yeah. There wasn't no yeah. spaceship whips yeah. with digital yeah. dashes. I'm sure we were able to adapt. If we were born in your days, then we would have adapted to your days. Yeah. Yeah. We're in our days, so we adapt to our. Like you'll be yeah, to walk when the oysters. Why am I going to pop when the oysters? But let's not let's not lie. In '92, to Eden Hospital was there. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Back in your days, you could bop or catch horses, whatever you were doing. Swim. Let me go. You had to fight snakes. I wholeheartedly disagree with that statement. How can all of our parents were at the top of their class? I was at the top of my class. So everyone's parents. So who was at the bottom? Yeah, who was yeah. dumb? Because no one failed, apparently. Yeah, apparently, I, no yeah, one failed. Yeah, because no parents ever said, I was dumb. <laughs> I didn't learn. I wasn't like, done. Yeah, yeah. One thing I will say about the generations is that, like, when you realise that another generation did all of that hard work, mm. you're trying to simplify it. Which is fine. Which is fine, isn't it? So People fine. can take that as, oh, lazy, but man's just trying to be smarter than the person that was there before me. Yeah. Have you ever heard work smarter, not harder? harder. So Thank I you. think, if anything, we're, we're smarter you. than the previous Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not going to start a beef now. Oh, they're no, going to drag us. No, what do you think of it, though, yeah? I want my son to be smarter than me. I want him to be way better than me. I want yeah. him to be the best version that he could ever be. No, same yeah. for me as well, but it's but, not possible. But, but I know it's not sad, Chunk. isn't it? Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? Chunk said, no, not possible. It's not yeah, funny, because my dad used to always say to me, I know you. <laughs> I know you. Most of your pa you parents, you don't know your kids. Yeah, when my dad used to catch me out, I used to get mad at How that. he knows you so well. Why do you know this for? I used to be like, Dad, is that what you think I'm doing? These times I'm doing it. Harry, Harry, do you think growing up, your parents actually knew you? I think they knew me 70% of what they thought they knew. 70%. Because I was so scared of my parents, I think my parents knew me 90%. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I was raised in like two different households. Okay. You fear one more and then the other one's your bedroom. 
So one newbie and one thought I was an angel. Your dad was your brother and you failed your mum? I failed my mum. Yeah. yeah. My mum could fold me in half if she wanted to, you know? <laughs> <laughs> fold me. I was shook. <laughs> I was shook. To wrap up, like, um, what's in a Snicker? And a Twix. And a 12. And a Mars bar. And a Kit Kat. Well, not and an Aero. There's other chocolates available, by the way. If you've got bread, we are here. You know what you are when you eat? That's why I eat a lot of chocolate. Oh, you make me yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you are what you drink, that's why I sip hot chocolate. <laughs> so what the f am I rare nephew? <laughs> no. Your Congolese tea. That's fine. That's fine, yeah. That's that's fine. Fine. You know what I was waiting oh, yeah. for? Yeah. This. Exactly, this. I was exactly. waiting for something. It's called yeah. the least tea. You don't know, like to drag me. No, no. I was like I'm a rag doll. Like a rag on the house. Like a rat. Like a rat on the highway. A rat on the highway. On the highway. We're going to say I strongly disagree. disagree. Disagree, disagree. Now, this round is called Imagine That. Now, we're all going to be given a scenario and we have to actually say to each other which one we prefer. Do you get that? I do. Do you get that? I get it. Oh, let's get into it. Sure. Would you rather grow up in your parents' generation, your generation, or the next generation? My generation. Man. What was you saying about the next generation? Bro, They're finished. Finito. Next generation is finished. crazy, man. But do you I think that the generation like... before us felt like we was done as well? Yes, yeah. yeah. They thought the world was going to end on 2000, millennium. Oh, yeah. Finished. When we were asking for like 50, 40 pounds for trainers, they thought we lost our goddamn mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now they used to them asking for Belenti and Gucci's. Now we're saying you lost your mind. Is it mind. because our parents are immigrants, so that's why they felt like that? No, I don't know why it's not like that, bro, because at the end of the day, bro, I think your youths are going to have Belenti runners in school. Are you going to do that for them? Oh, no, no, but I'm saying in general. Arkham You're getting Belenti kickers. Or... Bro, do you remember when you first oh, asked kickers. your mum for like Air Forces? Yeah. Or... I never asked her. Because you knew that your mum was thinking, I, I put food on your table, yeah. I did this, I closed on your back, I, cook, I bought I you one train us. You want more? I remember yeah. when I bought, I went to, um... I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I went to Foot Asylum with my, uh, my dad. Yeah, um, years oh, ago. I remember that, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, but back in the day, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. years ago. Yeah, Foot Asylum. Been around for years. So when I went to Foot Asylum back in the day with my dad, I remember I wanted a pair of Air Forces, yeah? My dad picked me three trainers, yeah? And said, if you buy all of these three trainers, it will equate to the same price of this one trainer. They were in Kansas. Oh, what shoes? is it? Case Swiss. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even remember the Lico names Sportive. now. No, Lico Sportive had, had, had a bit of respect. Kappa's hard, it, it though. Kappa's like, nice. You know, you know the off-brands that they only have for, like, three months? Um, yeah. yeah. My point is, as time goes on, mm. the, the norm of what people accept and think is normal changes. It even goes Dumb. higher. Yeah. yeah. You get, I went into a shops the other day, yeah? This is, like, before lockdown, yeah? There was young kids dripped down from head to toe, bro, in the stuff that was so expensive. Yeah. And I was thinking, when I was young, 20, 19, Dreams come I true did that to be wearing like this. So I definitely think that our generation, we got a bit of the olders, mm. we kind of grew in our thing, and then social media uh, took off. We got the best generation. 100%. Yeah, and call, yeah. call me biased, maybe really, because I'm in it. <laughs> but yeah. I generally feel like, yeah, we took some good habits from the, the olders, them. Mm. Yeah. We got some good habits just from ourselves. Obviously, we, we got some bad habits too. Yeah. I got some bad habits. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what's weird? I feel like I kind of disagree. I feel like our generation, we had the best childhood. Yes. Like growing oh, up in the 90s, amazing. 2000s. But I feel like from here onwards, Everything is just negative and everyone's broken. Our generation mm. now is is the negative generation. We're the mm. aunties and uncles that we was dragging. Do you know what? Whenever I go on like Twitter, I mean? yeah, there, there might be like a, um, a throwback picture of the 90s. I don't know, it might mm. be in Carnival or wherever, mm. yeah. I always look at those pictures and think, I wish I was there. There's yeah. no phones. I don't think drip was like a thing like that. It no. was a... Like you go out to enjoy yourourself yeah. and, you, and you have the memories. The only, pic the only thing you have is a picture, physical picture. Shall I tell you how you know? Shall I tell you no, drip was on a thing, bro? I remember I came with Astros and jeans, and it was a thing, bro. Swag. I was guan. Bro, man. If you try to run that now, mm. you're done. You get G rinsed G on social media. Ah, oh, look, 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 what are those? That yeah. was a thing. Like, yeah, man, used to wear, like, a Man United kit, jeans, boot cuts as well, because I'm um, street and sweepers. I used to wear street sweepers. Flare in the bumper. Yeah, my bro. designer Paul's was Paul's Adidas tracksuit. If, if you pull up in the... I did that track suit, any colour, you're hard. If you look at it, put it into context, we've actually had the best. So we've had, like, our parents taught us some stuff. I enjoyed when we didn't best really childhood. have that much because it was like, whenever I got something, I appreciated it. Like, mm. do you get me, man? When your mum allowed you to play and out... Bro, man used to play out. Cage. Yeah. Every day. Play out. Man, knock for you. Knock for Where's, yeah. Yeah. Where's, yeah. Where's Harry? Is, is, is Harry there? <laughs> yeah. And you know my mum would be like, huh? Yeah. When's the last time you used the house phone? Have you ever, have you ever been on a house yeah. phone like this before? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember back yeah. in the day? And then you bro? got gas when you upgraded to the wireless thing. You could bring it upstairs, downstairs, downstairs yeah, yeah, yeah. kitchen. You could move downstairs and you'd be like, yo, I'll go on my brother. Yeah, I'm on the house here. Do you remember the free phone? Free phone. Oh, I'm older than you lot. Sorry, guys. Oh, God. Yeah. Dirty fatty just turned dirty fatty. <laughs> I'm going to say, to conclude. To conclude. That's, yeah. That's it. That I'd rather 
be in my generation. Mm. Uh -huh. The next generation. Finished. Class. Incarceration. <laughs> All right, guys, so this round is called Deep It, and as you guys have already guessed, this is where we get, you know, into the deeper issues in life. Yes, yeah, so we'll be read out a statement and we have to discuss uh, about what we think about it. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Jibber jabber. Jabber jib. Jibber Savvy. Is our generation desensitized from the exposure of music, social media, and gaming? My main example of how, like, our generation don't get gassed over music, yeah? Back in the day, Michael Jackson hmm. would drop an album, would let you go to the store. You mm. want, like, say for example, you're dropping a music video at 6 p.m., you're there on MTV, it's like a premiere. Mm. Now, it's like, yeah, just drop it in on, on YouTube. Oh, yeah, just go watch it, cool. Like, do you know what I mean? I think also, yeah, we're in a generation, yeah, as much as we, people we say we're outside, we're really not. We're, we're really at, inside. We're at home <laughs> a lot. And obviously, as adults, brothers, we're not going to be playing knockdown ginger and stuff. Mm. But I think the kids also, patience isn't there as much as we had it. I mean, like what you said as well, like with Michael Jackson, I'm sure he was dropping an album every five years or however long it was. Yeah. So you'd have to actually soak up the album and be in love with it and you'd be catting yeah. for it. Same with games and stuff. There's only like a few games people play. So I have a COD. FIFA, FIFA, NBA, and that's it. Where it was before, like, mom will go to your house and actually play Just have with crash, friends. Like, you, you say to your mom, can I go <gasps> and stay at my friend's house and want to make a whole day of it? Also, kids are um, accessible to YouTube and social media from early. Dude, my nephew knows yeah, an like, iPad password at three. They'll be declining like, all your calls, you know? They're watching YouTube. Yeah. I definitely feel like where the, the, the younger generation are becoming too advanced mm. to the society without growing in it. Kids already know what they need to do yeah. already. Like if you ask a lot of kids, they want to be what we're do, do what we're doing, which is not a bad thing because we enjoy what we do. But but you see our do. kids' generations, yeah. What do you think they're gonna be like getting gassed about that? Like? Depends on how you show them from young. Mm. It all depends on yeah. how they're raised at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that anyone does a bad job. It's just necessarily like, I feel like you know, um, if a, if a Marge is just like overwhelmed right now, for example, she will just give her you uh, a phone mm. because she knows that that'll make you shut up. But now if you make them accustomed to that, it's a thing where in the net whole future, the next three years, just through, whilst they're growing up, is now, I need a phone on me, I need a phone mm. on me. Whereas they could have instead done something else, like maybe been with them or, you know, but it's, obviously it's not as easy as that. You know kids don't even get gassed over, like, toys. No, 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 bro. I remember whenever a new Bratz would come out, I used to be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get the Sasha or like even the baby born thing. Yeah, there was yeah. one where you could feed it and you could actually change it snappy. I don't even see like little girls like push prams anymore. You remember Hot Wheels? Hot, Hot Wheels, wheels yeah. Be you just press the thing and it goes round yeah. and round. Like, see the Argos catalog? I used to just scroll through it, but I want that. I want that. Yeah. I'll never get it in my life. Yeah. I went into Toys R Us once and it was by accident. I remember I was in Tesco, I was just shopping in that with my margin, and then I remember up to the toy section, I'm gonna try to grab it, and it's the thing, she started laughing. How rude is that? She's not even angry. Like, oh, I look down, I was like, she's like laughing. <laughs> Sit down, hurry up, stop playing games. Yeah, my son, he's just about to turn one, yeah? I've given him toys all his, all his life, bro. The one thing he goes to is the phone. They're so accustomed to like, this is fun, like, like baby shot, like catchy things. Mm. If if the toy ain't singing and dancing, they're gonna get bored in 10 minutes. The mm. baby's copying the parents, because now if they look at their rents and they're 24 7 on their line yeah. and that. When I first had my son, I remember when he started to clock who I am as, yeah. as his dad, yeah? yeah. Mm. There was one day, and this is when I, I stopped doing it, yeah? I was, I was lying in the bed, yeah? And he was just watching Little Baby Bum or whatever. And I looked up, and all he was doing was, was looking at me. For time, it's it's to take quiet. You, yeah. I thought we were sleeping. It was look, that's when I put my phone down. So your kids will start to follow the things yeah, that you do. We can't really be mad at the kids if, when we was young, like 13, 14, we're on our phones all the time. Bro, the same as my son, bro. Yeah. When I was in. The... <laughs> you see, back in the days now, yeah, on TV you could not see nothing. Like for example, I remember man growing up as a youth, you can't see like gal with, without gums. Never, yeah. you could never yeah. see that until 1 a.m. is and they're trying to look for the crazy After channels. After the watershed, yeah, yeah. ladies now, and gentlemen. 2 p.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday, you can go on MTV and see Cardi B with a whole body up. Mm. Absolutely fine, but I'm saying. It's the fact that nowadays the youths them are watching it. So mm. they're yeah. seeing that from too young. Mm. So I remember being a 14, 13 year old and I'm watching them film my rents now. Mm. And as soon as the matter comes on, straight away, <laughs> you have to do that. They can tell you don't even know what it is. But mm. now the youths are there just talking about WAPs <laughs> at, at 12, 13 in high school. That is mm. crazy. So of course mm. it's going to desensitize it, bro. And by the way, I'm not judging. I'm not saying hide. I'm not listen. I'm just saying they're desensitized because they're 11, 10, 9, yeah. and all they do, they go on their Instagram, which they shouldn't have in the first place anyway, yeah. and they just go they on explore. their new page, mm. explore, whatever, True. and it's just hella gal with everything True. out. I'm seeing people fully naked on Twitter. It's How true. is this possible? Mm. Oh, yeah, Twitter's, Twitter's mad for that, though. It's nuts, that. bro. And obviously... You can literally post 
anything. And you know how easy it is the verification of just like saying, I'm 18 years old? That's like, t do you have a TV license? Yes. Yeah, my parents sheltered me from yeah, certain man. stuff. And even like you said, I've, I've watched uh, shows or films and the sex scenes come on and I'll just look down. My, my brethren's little like cousins and that, I remember mm. I was there and I was in and amongst them just talking, it was like 6 pm. Mm. Some mad lip sync scene came on and I was uncomfortable because of the fact that they were so comfortable just watching it. I'm yeah. thinking, I remember when I was your age, I had to like, because there's an adult in the room, respect, but they're like, oh Wait, my God, you know, at least they're then? commentating, they say, right, they, he's lips in a good or something. I'm like, hey, even, oh. even, even though back in the day, in the back of my head, yeah, my little friend used to grow, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, you, know that, I mean? you know what you mean by that? I hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my favorite rapper in the whole world is Biggie, yeah. So oh, it was you know, like, you know stuff, so man. it was like, stuff. if you listen yeah. to his music, yeah, he used to say some mad stuff, but he would like decorate it in poetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like now you can listen. I don't want to say like. Clotting, clotting, clotting. I'm Check my dad on this when road at like, this time. Like, Got a gun and I lost <laughs> 16 shots in the rack and bastard. This is the city girls. And oh, young here man we go. Said, you love this. You in love and out, it. she goes, put it straight up in my. I said, yeah, this yeah, game, yeah. this scene. Yeah, she yeah. goes, she was talking so explicit, and I'm like, what the you? And I'm seeing 12 year olds listen to it and they're screaming. Yeah. They don't know what. They're, you know how crazy. But you know what? You know what's so crazy though. When I, when I was younger, yeah, you know. Return of the Mac. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Of late. When I've listened to it, yeah. Clotty's a side man, isn't it? Yeah. But when when you're younger, you don't really take in the music because it's just it just sounds it just good, lives, isn't it? Yeah. Like even underly, underly, mama, ia, ia, oh oh, what's mm. poppin' tonight? I understood nothing of yeah, that, yeah, yeah. but now I do. Nelly, you are dirty that? dog. What was that song there? I don't wanna no. know. You know that's the ultimate side. If you're playing me, keep it on, on the low. low. Guess what? Because oh, my heart can't, can't take, take it. it anymore. You know I only deep that song like two years ago. He's the ultimate. He's saying, clot out the place, but don't tell me. Boys to men also. Do you know the guy with the deep voice? Well, baby, uh, it's been a long time. And I know wow. You've been cheating on me, we but it's okay. We belong together. Yeah. Yeah, they were actually very moist back yeah, in very, the day. Yeah, very, very moist. But again, I think going back to the point, we didn't understand what was going on. Now, yeah. kids understand every fully aspect aware. of it. If you are, I guarantee yeah. if you ask a 12-year-old, I swear to God, bro, mm. go to a, a, a high school, Ask your sevens, uh, who knows what like clarting is? They will all tell you. Back yeah. in the days, maybe. I feel a little bit responsible for that. I'm like, of course I'm responsible. I'm not saying this. I'm oh, saying this. Okay. It's wrong. Okay. It's wrong. But okay. what we're doing is wrong, bro. The maddest thing is, man can't say, oh, or tell your kids not to watch YouTube. It's yeah. impossible, bro. Listen, it's, it's mothers right and fathers. Hold on, I'm having, I'm having a deep. Yeah, sorry. This, this is for parents. I'm a parent myself. Uh, for yeah, any same, parent same, that's same. watching right now and feels like Harry Panera has has messed up your child's head, I just want to say to you, you're a fool, <laughs> and I'm not gonna stop. Now, do you know is I get sent videos of little youths, like two-year-old, three-year-old, saying, Bunda, and I feel so bad. But it is <laughs> funny as well. <laughs> 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 well, that video, I might, because no, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't. By the way, you know I didn't actually create the word Bunda. Everyone thinks I made it. Yeah, I had it from Jay Huss. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah. I made it, like, famous in Northwest. But, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> she's, she's, she's yeah, but, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a good word. We've concluded that the generation them has been desensitized due but... to the recent climate mm. that, that yeah. we're in uh, currently. Yeah. So I just want to say, you them, please. Obviously, it's too late probably now. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stop the chingins and hopefully we'll be please. good. Yeah. Ching chong with a walla bing bang. Oh, for Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ching chong, walla walla bing bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ching chong, walla walla bing bang. See, look, the Houston don't know what that is. They, they, know, they, they don't know about that. Now they think, what the hell did they do? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they think that we did some spiritual casting. They think, they think that's a, a, a drill song. Ching chong, walla walla bing bang. It's true. Ching and changing. Yeah. What do I want to bing and I'm banging and banging? <laughs> what do I want to bing and chilling, chilling, and binging and banging and binging and banging and. All right, guys, that's the end of it. But we want to hear your opinion, so make sure you put them in the comments down below, and we'll try and um, answer any questions that you guys have. But you know what? Time it is. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See that notification bell. Slam it. We're doom. We're doom. What is this? Who's Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Just a good, a good friend of mine, Sam.